Hey guys, how's it going? Sorry for the impromptu video. Just want to post a quick update. So, uh, this is an actual episode. I just wanted to let people know I am still working on this movie. Um, hit a couple speed bumps. Uh, there's been some issues getting supplies because of this whole COVID mess. Um, the Hobby Lobbies around here haven't had any of the Tamiya Fine White Primer in stock. And uh, I've had to order. I placed the order one time and uh, actually ended up having to go out of town for about two weeks. Got back home, ready to get started, and uh, I ordered the wrong primer. I actually ordered the gray. Uh, so I've had to reorder it now. And uh, hopefully it's going to be in here uh, sometime this week. And I can uh, get started because uh, I'm ready to, uh, to start doing the Aztecs on uh, the nacelles and the uh, pylons, but uh, uh, one of them needs a, another coat of white, and then the other one, I found a couple spots that I want to sand a little more. I'm um, gonna do a little more seam work on, so I'm gonna have to reprime that one as well. So, um, I'm kind of in the holding pattern until I get the supplies I need, but uh, I did want to go over uh, just one thing real quick with you as far as the painting, so give me a second, I'll flip this around, put you on the desk, and we'll take a quick one. All right, guys, so, Here's where I'm at right now. You can see one of the pylons in the cells over here that uh, I've got primed up in white. And this one's actually pretty much got a, uh, the final coats of primer, but this is uh, the one I was talking about. I'm going to do a little more, a little more work on the seam on the top here. And uh, there's a couple spots where I accidentally filled in that shouldn't have been filled in. So I need to clear those out and reprime it. Um, so what you're looking at here is uh, I've got the uh, HDA Model Works uh, decals for the strong backs and uh, the blowout panels and the deflector dish. Um, because what you'll see over here is uh, this is the mask design kit. Um, and then talking to Gary, the uh, it's just a, a little too small at 1537 to do all of these, these details um, in the masking kit. So what Gary recommends is get the, uh, the decals for the strong backs deflector dish and the blowout panels. So that's what I've got here. HDA model works, puts out what's, what looks like a really nice set. I haven't gotten to use it yet. Uh, so we'll look at that more when I, I get around to using it. But, uh, what I'm working on right now is what I've got here is the, uh, Trek modeler paint guide. And I've, I've covered up the colors because it's, it, it's their proprietary thing. They, they developed this and they, they sell it, um, so I don't want to give out all the information. I will tell you that the base color I'm using, because this isn't what they recommend, um, is this uh, AK Pale Green. And the reason why this isn't what they recommend is because all the colors in the paint guide are based off the Model Masters line, which has been discontinued. So um, fortunately, I was able to get most of the colors in the Model Master, um, but this one here in particular... Uh, I had to actually find a replacement for because it's no longer available in the Model Master. Um, but anyway, I, I can tell you that basically what I've got to do is come up with uh, four shades of green. So you got your darkest green, a dark green gray, a medium green gray, and a light green gray. And uh, what I'm getting ready to work on now is basically because I'm using the HDA Model Works decals. And this is uh, the motion picture is, is green. In case anybody's wondering, because uh, I see people ask a lot of questions about, was well, it green or blue? Well, they're green in the motion picture one, which is what I'm doing. Um, basically, the 1701A is pretty much accepted as being uh, blue, which well, they are blue. But uh, I think the model was actually changed for Star Trek, too. But uh, for the motion picture, we're definitely going with green. Um, and you can see HDA Model Works puts these out in green and blue. Um, so if you do want to use the mass design and uh, you want to do the blue, they put this out in the blue as well. So what I'm working on right now, though, is I've got my three colors, um, and I need to try to match them. I want to try to match them up as best I can with the uh, the colors in the decals because uh, I can't change these colors. So these are what they are um, on the decals. So what I want to do is try to match up as best I can my my green that I'm going to use for. Um, I actually don't know if I'm going to use these. Uh, use these uh, blowout panels or if I'm going to paint them. I might try to paint them um, as long as I can get the colors pretty close. Uh, but there's other colors where places where you're going to have to use the green and I don't want it to be way off from the rest of the ship. So I'm going to work on mixing these together and uh, see what I can come up with. Um, it's going to be a little bit working on that. 
Um, I do still have some other little bits and pieces that I'm working on as far as the saucer section. Um, I still got uh, two or three of the um, thrusters that I got put on the saucer section yet. And uh, I did. I do know that Cass had put out, uh, there was an issue with the fitting on it, which he's working to correct right now. Um, I didn't pick up on it because I had to modify it because I already had my saucer together. So, um, but just know he's working on that. If uh, you need replacements, uh, if you don't, it's easy to modify those. I think he put out a picture on it. If you don't want to modify them and you want them to replace them, just get a hold of Cass over there at Lake Monster Models and uh, talk to him about it and see what you can work out. But anyway, I uh, just want to do a quick video and show everybody that's what I'm working on is uh, trying to get these paints right now matched up uh, with what the decals show. So that's what I'll be working on for a little bit. Uh, hopefully next weekend, uh, well, not this weekend, the weekend before Christmas, but have, hopefully during the Christmas break, I'll get a chance to do a, enough work to make it worth putting out a, a whole actual uh, episode. So Give me a little bit of time. Um, I'm working on this. I'll put out another update, like I said, hopefully right around or just after Christmas um, during that break. I'll, I'll have a couple down, a couple days of downtime. I, hopefully, like most other people do, to get some stuff done on this model. Uh, hopefully, get this thing finished up here because I'm eager to move on to some of the other builds I've got waiting. But uh, till then, keep modeling.